big races. Miami-Dade County Sheriff voters are picking a sheriff for the first time since the 60s. Republican Rosie Cordero Stutz and Democrat James Reyes held events today encouraging people to get out and cast their ballot. The two are trying to highlight their differences as they face off in what's become a very contentious race. She wasn't, she wasn't the sentenced. document. You she should continue not. to read the document all the finish. way to the end. I have. The gloves are off in the Miami-Dade Sheriff's race, pitting Democrat James Reyes and Republican Rosie Cordero Stutz. Their TV ads are slinging mud everywhere. Cordero Stutz has spent 28 years with Miami-Dade Police, starting as a patrol officer, rising through the ranks to become its current deputy assistant director. Her years of experience in police work, she says, make her the better candidate. I've been a police officer in this county, in Miami-Dade County, for 28 years. I started in patrol in 1996. I worked the streets. I was an officer. I was a detective. I was a sergeant. I was a lieutenant. I was a police major. I was a police chief. And now I'm an assistant director. Ray has spent 22 years with the Broward Sheriff's Office Corrections Unit, rising to director. Two years ago, he was hired by Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava to be Miami-Dade's corrections chief and then promoted to chief of public safety overseeing police, fire, and corrections. I think one of the biggest uh, qualifications that I have that has resonated with the community is being the only candidate that has executive leadership experience in a sheriff's office, having been a colonel and the executive director of one of the largest sheriff's offices in the country. During an hour-long debate with CBS News Miami's Jim DeFitti, the two candidates agreed on the need for a police corruption unit, more crisis counselors to tackle mental health issues, and improve race relations pointing to the now notorious traffic stop involving Dolphin star receiver Tyreek Hill. When we've made mistakes, stepping forward and saying we've made them, we are going to try to do better. And as a sheriff, I'm committed to make sure that we continue to improve on those things. Those incidents highlight the need for three things from the leadership of any police agency um, when responding to those types of uh, incidents. First, transparency. Second, due process, and last but definitely not least, and, and, and one that the community expects, is accountability. And right here tomorrow at 6, we'll feature another important race on the ballot. CBS News Miami's Ted Scout talks to incumbent Republican Senator Rick Scott and his challenger, Democratic former Cong Congresswoman Debbie Mercasell Powell. You'll highlight where they stand on the issues important to South Floridians. That's tomorrow at 6.